Hello and welcome. My name is Harsh Mohanpuri from Australia, South Asia, based in New Delhi. F&B has been a priority sector for Australia in the Indian market. Um, Saldose Fine Foods has recently seen success in the Indian market given the unique service offering and consistent Indian strategy. Christina and Martin Talako began the journey in 2000 setting up Saldose Fine Foods manufacturing and adding a range of allergen sensitive baking mixes under the Yes You Can uh, brand. These baking mixes such as dairy free, egg free uh, are now exported over 20 countries with Saldose Fine Foods receiving the NSW Export Award in 2016 and 2018. Today I'm in conversation with Martin Talako, um, Managing Director at Saldose Fine Foods in New South Wales, Australia. So Martin, uh, why did you choose the Indian market and what has been your experience so far? The importance for the Indian market for us was the growing middle class, which I think is now 200 million or, or more. These consumers are looking for high quality products that consumers can be confident with the integrity of the product. And that's one of the clear goals for us in being a gluten free and a allergy free company. Well, definitely the first thing is to get on a plane and join a Australian trade mission. I think that's what we, we've done that in a number of markets and just being introduced to local distributors, local people of like Austrade, going to the local supermarkets, attending food fairs. So we've attended a number of food fairs in India. The first one was a consumer show and then we've done trade shows subsequently uh, to that. Secondly, it'd be getting a better understanding of the risks, the trends and the competition and pricing within the market. So analyzing the import duties, as I said, there's import duties as well as a VAT and GST in the last couple of years. Start with a reputable firm and importantly, keep on going back, which we've done three or four times we've had consistent visits to the Indian market over uh, each year.